Ami Anyong. My brooch set from V's Artist Made Collection is finally here, so let's unbox it together. Since this is Taeyong's design, I've chosen a jazzy track to go with this video. I hope you enjoy. This is a super exciting unboxing for me. I still can't believe I managed to grab this within a minute of it completely sold in the first round of the Artist Made release. There have since been a couple more rounds of merch drops, all gone within a few seconds to minutes, so I'm really thankful I was able to secure this brooch set, which happens to be the only item I was able to get from round 1. The set that I got is the Faces design, which has a soft spot in my heart because it was the first brooch design Tay sketched in the making of, and I loved how he just went about drawing it. So here we have the packaging. I really love how minimalistic it is with the embossed designs of all three brooches he's created. We've got a drawer type box here. And on the sides, embossed with artist made and collection running over to this side. I love that they've kept it simple but stylish. Let's see what's in the box. Ah, my brooches have slid out the dust bag I think. I mean, they're still in their own protective plastic pockets to avoid scratching, but I think they were probably packed in the dust bag. Although, there doesn't seem to be a fold on it, so maybe not, but that's all good. There's this envelope with V on it, we'll take a look at that later. So yeah, I think the bridges were packed loosely because this dust bag doesn't have a fold crease on it. I love that they've included it to safely store the brooches or to travel with, which is a nice luxurious touch, especially with the Artist Made Collection branding. Oh wow, so on first impressions, I'm loving what I see. Here we have the first brooch design he sketched and it's such a great piece of art, don't you think? It reminds me of his paintings in, um, in The Soup 2. And his style is a mix of abstract and modern, and I love that they've gone for mixed materials here with the addition of leather to the metal just to give it some texture and point of difference. Turning over to the back, we have faces engraved, and I think the other two designs would have flower buddies and cloud drops engraved on the back. Ooh, so I'm noticing a bend on the pin. Let's see. It opens okay, but I don't know if maybe the pin is meant to be slightly bent to allow for it to spring open. But otherwise, I think it's made well. The pin is soldered on instead of glued, and the overall quality is pretty good. The finishing is nice and polished, so I'm very happy with this. Moving on to the second brooch, and this one is another quirky design which I find a little on the cuter side and um, with the colours, it will make a nice accessory for Christmas as well that doesn't scream festive if you know what I mean. Again we've got the leather detail here in red, and I'm glad that the brooches are not your standard metal type badge, and it's just so unique when it's produced this way. Let's have a look at the pin here. Now, this doesn't look as bent as the previous one, so maybe it was a slight manufacturing fault, but it doesn't bother me because the pin is functioning the way it should anyway. All good and looking nice and polished on the sides. Now we get to see what's inside this brown paper envelope. I love that they've kept it simple with craft paper that goes so well with the white packaging. 
Ooh, the photo card is slightly peeking out there, but I'm going to pull out the making log first. And let's take a look at the details of V's making of process. As a design grad, I have to say my favourite part of this entire collection was their making of logs. It was so nice to see each member's creative process and how they worked with the staff to create something of their own. Kind of similar to that time they designed BT21 with the Line Friends design team. I thoroughly enjoy knowing that the members have an important part in all of this and I believe that's what attracts fans to the products as well, knowing the concept behind each creation. Oh my goodness, there he is, Ao Taeyong, the designer at work. Wow, so they started product planning back in October 2020. We could kind of tell it's taken some time from the different hairstyles you see in the making of vlog. Because you know, all product planning takes time, but here you have the dates of the design and sample review right up to the final stage, and it all went on sale in January 2022, giving the manufacturers a good few months to produce the final products. Ah, all of his original sketches, this is really nice to have. Oh, Tay and his element. I love that they included these shots. Here we have the prototypes. The sample review. I mean, this really adds to their appreciation for all the work that's gone into making this collection so successful. I love that they've included some of his thoughts here in the log as well. And actually, this would look really nice framed up, but it's printed on both sides, so maybe have to get a little creative on how to best display this. Oh, look at how proud he is. Great job, Tay. And a little thank you note here. Last but not least, the photo card. I don't know if you can see it, but why is the margin around the picture not even on both sides? I don't know, I mean, this is my first and only artist made collection photo card right now, so I don't have anything else to compare with, but I've seen some of Yoongi's online and his was printed perfectly, so I'm not sure if it's all of Tay's Birch photo cards or just mine that's looking like this. So yeah, I guess it's uniquely off-centered if I'm going to be positive about this. <laughs> so that's the Faces brooch set from V's Artist Made Collection that I got from the first round of release. I'm really over the moon to report that I also have Tay's Flower Buddies brooch set coming and unbelievably, the Mute Boston bag as well from the second release, thanks to a lovely friend. But they won't arrive till mid this year, so hopefully I can do an unboxing then. And in the meantime, feel free to subscribe for more of my content. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Annyeong!